Here's a practice SAT question. It does involve for the use of a calculator. If we look at what we're presented with here, we've got this little bar graph, uh, y-axis, we've got the number of apples, and then on the x-axis, we've got the number of seeds. So I, I guess we have two of the apples in this sample had three seeds, zero of the apples had four seeds, four of the apples had five seeds, and, and so on. So it should be pretty obvious what's represented within this just by looking at it. And I guess I didn't even look at the title. I probably should have looked at that before I looked at anything else. Number of seeds in each of 12 apples. So they had 12 apples. They figure out how many seeds were in each. They put the data into this little bar graph here. And so, you know, I've called it a bar graph. They've called it a histogram. But in the, in the histogram above, which of the following is the closest to the average which is just the arithmetic mean, right? So add up the, the total number and divide by how many you had. Uh, number of seeds per apple. So what we're going to have to do in order to figure out the average number of seeds per apple, we're going to have to figure out the total number of seeds in all 12 of the apples, and we're going to have to divide by 12, right? The total number of seeds divided by the 12 apples that we had within the sample, and that's going to give us the average here. So total seeds divided by apples, uh, total number of apples is 12. So there's no work necessary to do that. We're told what that number is, right? So the denominator is going to be a 12. Uh, but the total number of seeds is what we have to have in this numerator. So if I had two apples with three seeds to figure out the total number of seeds from this portion of the histogram, I'm going to have to take the two apples times the three seeds. There were six total seeds in those two apples. Uh, don't have to worry about anything here at the level of four seeds, but at five seeds, we had four apples that had that many seeds. So how many total seeds were in those four apples? Well, four times five is gonna give us that. We do that same sort of calculation with the rest of the bars in that bar graph or in that histogram. Uh, and then the calculator's in play here. So carefully fire up the calculator. You can type in this expression to figure out what you have in your numerator. You can then divide that by 12. If that goes accordingly, you should get 6.083. It says, which is closest to the average? Well, we're really close to six. So that is going to be the answer. One other thing that's probably good to do in a situation like this, just kind of check your units. So we're supposed to figure out seeds per apple. So think about the units of what we have up here. We have the total number of seeds within that numerator, and we have 12 apples within the denominator. So this would be 6.083 seeds divided by apples or seeds per apple. So the units match up. We're in pretty good shape here. Hopefully understood how to do that problem.